Hello everyone, this is Johnny Crass coming to you with another lore video. Now, first off, um, my review of Close Combat and Panic uh, for the Warhammer review that I'm doing with the Sustainable Center should be up either between today and Thursday. It's in the editing stages right now, and just between work and playing Warhammer and real life, I'm just having a little bit of trouble getting it all edited and put together. But I encourage you to go check out the other parts of the video. So far, they've all been pretty well done. And um, stay tuned for the next segment to teach you all a little bit about the game we love so much. Um, Alright, so the lore we're going to be covering today is my second favorite lore. Lore of Death. Um, armies that can take death off the top of my head. Uh, it's actually, yeah, armies that can take death off the top of my head. High Elves, Lizardmen, uh, Empire, Vampires. Really, it's easier to say the armies that can't take Lore of Death. And that would be Bretonian Wood Elves. Every other army in the game, well, Dwarves, but Dwarves can never take any magic, but can all take Lore of Death. It's kind of, it's fairly popular, so to speak. Um, so Lore Tribute is Life Leeching. Uh, whenever, for each wound it deals, you roll D6. On a 5+, plus, you'll gain an additional Power Dice. So this is fantastic. Fantastic way you can just harvest power dice to fuel the rest of your magic phase. Um, Spirit Leech is the signature spell cast on a 7+. plus. Direct damage, so it can be cast at a close combat. A range of 12 inches targets an enemy model, even a character, so it's a snipe. Uh, you roll d6 and they roll d6 and you add your unmodified leadership. Which, per the FAQ, is the highest leadership in your unit. So if you're a little leadership 6 mage, but you're with a leadership 9 uh, lord, you're going to be leadership 9 for this spell. And you both roll d6, and by every point you beat them by, they take a wound, no armor saves. And then you can boost it to a 24 inch range on a 10 plus. This spell is fantastic for everything from plinking a few wounds on just enemy characters, to sniping unit champions so you don't get stuck in a challenge, to doing wounds to monsters. This spell can do it all. It's a fantastic signature spell. I cannot pile enough praise on Spirit Leech. Um, Aspect of the Dread Knight. Cast on a 4+. plus. Uh, range of 24 inches. Unit causes fear until your next magic phase. You can boost it to cause terror on a 9+. plus. Whoop de doo, it's a freaking awful spell. Um next spell, Caress of Lanith. Cast on a six plus, direct damage, once again out of close combat. Uh range of twelve inches, target it's a snipe, so target a model, even a character in a unit. Um you take two die six hits minus the strength of the character you're sniping. And then they wound on a four up, no armor save. And you can boost the range to uh, 24 inches on the 12 plus. Another fantastic death snipe. And it goes really well with the next spell. This spell, once again, really good. You roll high on the 2 die 6, you can kill a character fairly easy. Um, next spell, probably in my top 6 spells in Warhammer. Soul Blight, cast on the 9 plus. Hex of 24 inch range, target has minus 1 strength, minus 1 toughness to a minimum of 1 till the caster's next magic phase. But the wizard can choose to bubble this to all enemy units within 24 inches. It's cast on an 18 plus. You're engaged on multiple fronts. You need to really swing all the combats to win this, or at least two of the combats. You bubble this baby out. You don't really care about the eye force. You bubble it, everyone's at minus one strength, minus one toughness, and you win your fights. You just tear them up. The spell's fantastic. And it has a really low casting cast. Costing cast. Casting cost to boot. Um, Doom and Darkness, another favorite spell of mine. 
Cast on 10 plus remains in play. Hex with a range of 24 inches. Target suffers minus 3 penalty to its leadership. And you can boost it to a 48 inch range on a 13 plus. Spell's fantastic. It terrains in play means they have to deal with it. Minus three leadership is huge if you can start forcing panic tests. Um, yeah, it's just a fantastic spell. Sadly, it does not work with uh, Spirit Leech because it's a modifier, but it's still a fantastic, fantastic spell. Um, next spell, Fate of Biona. Cast on a 13 plus, direct damage, 12 inches. Uh, it's a snipe. 2 die 6 minus toughness and wounding on a 2 up. If you live through it, you have stupidity. Um, it's not great. Crest of Lanith and Spirit Leech are both better. Just because it's not great because of its range. It's only a 12 inch range and it can't be boosted. If it could be boosted, it would be a fantastic spell. But it not being boosted, it's only an okay spell. But it's still good for killing a pesky elf character or something. And finally, another one of those Warhammer spells that you hear so much about and people are just pissed their pants scared of. Uh, cast on a 15 plus, it's the purple son of Xerxes, or Xerus, or whatever. Um, remains in play. It's a magical vortex, small round template. Uh, you place it at the edge of your base, nominate a direction, and it moves an artillery dice times three. Any model touched or passed over by the template has to take initiative test or be removed. And it deals the full number of wounds for life leeching. That should be noted. So you kill an ogre, you're going to get three wounds out of that. Um, and then it, um, it'll scatter like a vortex, moving d6 in each magic phase. Um, you can boost it to a large blast. On a 25 plus, which is just insane. Good way to um, crop those ogre gut stars. On a misfire, you place the template over you, which kind of sucks. But you get a lookout, sir, for the caster and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's a risk, but it's not a big enough risk that you shouldn't be chucking this at people. So, overall, that's Lore of Death. It's a fantastic, fantastic lore. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all later.